hello guys and welcome to another premiere pro tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to make text messaging effect in premiere pro so let's get started so the first thing you will need to do is to download this text messaging bubble effect over here you can find the link in the description below now what you need to do next is to create your sequence you can create your sequence however you like but i want to come over to file new sequence and select this ARRI 1080p25 and hit ok so we need to drag our first text bubble into our timeline and increase the length a little bit so what i'm going to do is to drag this so we can zoom in better and now what i want to do is to animate this text bubble move over to your first control panel over here and select motion and the first thing you need to do is to move your anchor point from the center of the text bubble to this corner over here so i'm going to fit this and i'm going to drag this anchor from here to this point where this animation will start and what this will do is that it's going to cause this text bubble to animate from this point over here back to your first control panel over here make sure that your time head is at the beginning of your text bubble and add a keyframe to scale then move the playhead 10 frames forward and add another keyframe on scale so let me zoom this closer now move four frames backward and add another keyframe so we have three keyframes here now what i want to do is to set this middle keyframe as 105 and select it and hit ease in now move over to the first keyframe over here and reduce the scale down to zero and when we hit play this is going to create this pop-up animation over here now we have to add text to this bubble so move to the middle keyframe over here and select your type tool and type name day and time then what you need to do is to resize and reposition the text I'm using the Helvetica light font, that font is useful for text messages. Now go over to your effects library and search for the cross dissolve transition and place this transition at the start of your text over here. Now you can reduce the duration a little bit. Again select the type tool to add the main text and type here anything that you like. Next I'm going to resize and reposition this text. And move this main text to the beginning of the text bubble over here to create a form of a typing effect i'm going to bring in the wipe effect so you can use the linear wipe or the wipe effect so drag the wipe effect and drop it at the beginning of your main text layer you can also adjust the length another thing you can do is to select your bubble layer over here and you can reduce the opacity down to say 70 percent and this will create a see-through on your video when you have placed your video underneath it and the other thing you can do is to change the color of the text bubble now there are different ways to do this first of all you go over to your first library over here and you search for the tint effect you can also use the change to color effect there are a couple of ways to do this so you can select your tint here and drop it on this text bubble and move over to the effects control panel change it to whatever color you like i can select this blue and hit ok and there it is guys we've changed the color to blue so now i'm going to fit this display back to normal and if we go to the beginning and hit play okay this seems fine let me scale it to 100 so you can see it better all right guys now I'm going to move back to my project panel here and I'm going to rename this sequence and I'm going to call this bubble one. Next I'm going to select this sequence, right click it and duplicate it. When I double click this you will notice a copy has been created over here. So this is the first one and this is the copy over here. So for this new sequence we want the bubble to be coming from the other side. So what I'm going to do is to select this bubble over here. And come over to my project and select the one I'm trying to bring in hold on to alt and drag this bubble to onto my text here and it automatically changes the bubble now let me fit this back to 100 so you can see that this new bubble is facing this other side so what we need to do immediately is to change the anchor position so I'm going to select motion here and drag this anchor from this position now to this other position here we can also readjust this color to whatever you like so i'm going to select my bubble over here move over to my first control panel here and change my tint i'm going to change it to this color and hit ok 
and now the next thing we need to do is to readjust our text so i'm going to select my top text layer over here and set the position to start from this other place here and i'll adjust the text so this will probably have some other features and change this other text to say something like that now just in case the amount of text becomes more than the size of the bubble for example you type in more words what you might need to do is to select your bubble over here and move over to the effects control now what you want to do is to uncheck the uniform scale and when you do this make sure that you move your playhead to your keyframes and at this point the second and the third keyframes you have unchecked the uniform scale what you want to do is to adjust the scale width you can increase the width of the scale over here make sure you check it and move to the next keyframe over here and add another keyframe which is the same value with this middle keyframe you have created just make sure that the top keyframe for height and width here is the same keyframe for height and width here then go back to the beginning once more and make your new width zero and don't forget to ease in the middle keyframe and if i hit play you can see that we have increased the size of this text bubble over here and that's how to readjust the text bubble if you need to so the next thing i'm going to do is to create a new sequence so i'm going to come over to my file new sequence and i'm going to name this one text message and hit ok so let me fit this back to normal size and what i can do now is to drag in my two bubbles that i've created into this new sequence And I can move one to be one track above or one track below. And if I go back and hit play, you can see them both coming up. But what I want to do is to make one pop up sooner. So I'm going to move one to come up after the second one. So this looks more like it. Now if you want to edit this text or create more of the bubbles, to edit the text all you have to do is to double click any of this sequence over here and it will open up the nested sequence and over here you can select your text or anyone you want to edit and you can edit the bubbles or text individually but if you want to create more bubbles all you have to do is repeat the process we did for the first one. So what you want to do is to select the bubble you want to duplicate, right click it and duplicate it. And you can rename it and call it bubble 3 and now you can drag it onto your timeline over here and reposition it you can then double click it and edit the text and the bubbles as you please And the last thing you can do is to add the video beneath the nested layers over here. So I'm going to select these clips and take them one track higher and import one video file. And that's it on this tutorial guys. I hope you found this very useful. If you did, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to drop your feedbacks in the comment section. Thank you and see you guys tomorrow in my next video.